This free AI tool is one of the best alternatives to Photoshop, and in some cases, it could do even more. You can use this AI tool to generate amazing images from just text prompts for free. Not only that, but you can also edit all or parts of any image without any masking or color grading. The AI is going to know exactly what to do with the image if you can just give it a description. You can also completely turn an image into something else, but retain some of its structure. If you're an advanced user, you can even select, cut out, and reposition image elements with just a single click. Let's go. This is the Styler AI website. Use the link in the video description to get started. The first thing you're going to do is sign up for a free account. After signing up with your email address or Google account, you will land on this page. On this page, you're going to see the most popular styles, and you can even click on any of these styles to start creating your AI images. For instance, I can use this model to start my AI image generation. All I have to do is click on Stylerize with it. This is the AI text-to-image generator interface. Right on the left, and you can see the panel where you choose your style and paste in your prompt. So once you are done with writing the text prompt, the next thing you have to do is click on Stylerize. Give the AI some time to load the images. Here are the four results. Click on any of the images you would like to keep, and they're going to be added to the list. Click on Place on Canvas. On the right, you can see the three images have been placed in three separate layers, and I can work on each of them independently. The zoom button is used to enlarge or reduce the size of the image on the canvas. And as you can see, I have 199 points remaining because Styler gives you 200 points on sign up. Just like using Photoshop, I can turn on or off any of these image layers using the eye icon beside them. But let's explore other things you can do with Styler. So I'm going to return to the home page and click to start a new project. So we're back in the text to image generation interface. We're still going to start with text to image generation before using the others. Make sure the style you want to use has been selected. At the top of the canvas, I can set the aspect ratio of the image as well as the project title. Click on apply to save the changes. Come to the text box and write the text prompt and click on stylerize. The AI would generate four different versions and you can select any of the ones you want to keep and then place them on the canvas. The images would also be placed in their different layers, which you can work on independently. When you select any layer and come to the top of the image, you're going to see these tools. The Insert, Remove Object, and Remove Background Tools. To insert an object into the image, choose the Insert tool. You can use this slider to control the brush size. Next is to paint over the area of the image where you want to insert the object. After painting, describe what you want the AI to insert and click on Generate. The AI would come up with four different versions, and you're going to select the one that best fits. To remove an object from an image, select the layer with the image and click on Remove Object. Paint over the object you want the AI to remove, and within a few seconds, it's gone. Removing the background of images is very easy with one click and you can even resize and reposition the objects on the canvas. You can import images you already have on your computer and want to edit. Click on Import Image and then select the image file from your system. As we did previously, you can paint over an area of the image to remove an object, paint over areas to insert new objects, and so on. When you're done, you can use the Export button to save the image to your computer. You can export all the layers of the project or just a single layer that you've selected. Here's my most favorite feature. The ability to copy the structure of one image and use it to generate a completely new image. You can use the image to image generator to do it. For instance, I would be using this image to generate a completely new image. Select the image to image generator and choose the style you want for your output image. Write the text prompt and click on Stylerize. The generated images are going to have similar structures to the source image, as you can see here. It doesn't matter if it's an image you generated directly with Styler, or if it's an image you uploaded into the Styler AI editor. There's a link in the description of this video that you can use to visit the website. I've also linked the Styler AI official YouTube channel in the video description, where you can get helpful tutorials and information on any future updates. Thanks for watching.